So till 2012, I was not having a phone with me. Uh, 2012 was the year when I got my first second-hand smartphone, Samsung Galaxy Y. And the when I entered into this college, I explored the college. So this college is uh, situated in a jungle. It's a very old college. And we used to go from our hostel to our, to our classes uh, through those small, small paths. And the life, the kind of uh, loneliness is a very negative word, but we used to go to our classrooms and the life we used to witness there gave me so much creative ability to see the world, to explore myself, to explore my inner heart, that I actually realized that this was the place where I wanted to be during all, all these years. Maybe this was the place which was making me independent. So these are the photographs which I started clicking through Samsung uh, Galaxy Y from my first smartphone. There was, there was not any agenda in my mind that I want to become a good photographer, that I want to click photographs. These are the normal, like what, what you see in your daily life, these are the daily life photographs. The, the photograph at the top is of the New Delhi Railway Station when I was coming from Delhi to Ranchi. The below two photographs are from Ranchi where you're actually walking uh, through a city or through the roads of your college and you're seeing the, the everyday life. So these, these photographs are from that place. Now, I completed my uh, post-graduation. During, during my post-graduation in the year 2013, a friend of mine suggested me that, Gursimran, you click photographs, you upload them on Facebook. Why don't you use Instagram? So I told him that I've tried, I've, I've tried it once or twice, but it, it's quite complicated to me. I, I don't understand its interface. So he pushed me, he made me understand what Instagram is, about the people, about the community, that you get like-minded people over there. You see other people's photographs, you got to learn a lot from them. So I finally came to Instagram and I started uploading photographs over there. So uh, like every other person, every second, third person must have heard about Old Delhi, its culture, uh, its people it's everyday life, I started exploring Old Delhi during my Saturdays and Sundays and I was completely blown away by the culture that place had, completely blown away. And that was the thing, streets, which I was looking for all these years. So I, I kind of understood my taste of clicking photographs and the kind of creativity I belonged to was clicking streets, people, culture, everyday life. So like basically these are the things which happened on their own. I was not going, I was not running after them, but these things happened on their own. Uh, one day I was going through Instagram and ITC group of hotels, they conducted a competition in which they asked to upload a photograph and in return the prize would be, there was this luxury Insta meet they were conducting. So I uploaded one of my photographs and the other day the manager called me congratulating me that uh, you have been selected as uh, one of the guests to attend this luxury Insta meet and what we were supposed to do was to click photographs of that event and whosoever uh, wins that event would get a two night stay in one of their hotels across India. So I did that and uh, I got the best Instagram coverage and in return I not only got a two nights stay which I later on uh, converted into a lunch for my family because they were coming from London. So the manager, he, he kind of gave me a proposal to come with them, to go with them to Jodhpur. So in Jodhpur, uh, Rajasthan International Folk Festival happens every year in the month of November or December, I guess. So they asked me to, to uh, kind of capture the whole event, uh, Rajasthan International Folk Festival through my photographs and they were supposed to feature those photographs on their website. So this was the first thing when I realized that the thing which I'm doing for my passion is actually giving me something in return, which I'm actually enjoying it, right? Till now I have not left my job. I was not giving any extra efforts. I was not giving any extra time. I was just doing it during my weekends and it actually gave me an assignment with such a prestigious, uh, such a wonderful company, ITC Group of Hotels. Later on, same, like social, social media is something uh, which gives you a lot in return. 
while scrolling one day, there was this competition through the National Geographic Channel in which they were supposed to select 20 people across India who would become a part of a walk in which 20 people from different genres would come together and explore a place these people would decide. So this National Geographic channel, they asked me to put my Instagram handle on their Facebook page, I did that. And the day I was leaving early from my office, I saw this uh, notification in my mobile phone saying that the National Geographic channel commented on your post. So I thought that maybe these, these people are stupid, it must be a spam comment or something. When I went to their page, it was the official National Geographic Channel's page, and I was actually selected as one of the 20 people to, to, become, a part, to become a part of them. So like with these things, uh, when these things came into the picture of my life, I decided that I won't waste my Saturdays and Sundays uh, like partying around or doing this and that, I thought that maybe I can, I can channelize my Saturdays and Sundays in a, in a very productive way because I love traveling to different places, that was the thing for me. I started exploring different places which could be covered overnight, you know. If I, if I leave on a Friday late night, I can come back on a Monday morning. So the places were like Agra, Pushkar, Banaras, there are a number of places in Rajasthan, Uttarakhand, Himachal, in which, where which you can actually travel there on a Friday night and you can come on a Monday morning. So I made this, so this was an agenda for me. This was a driving force for me that I do not have to leave this thing from my, from my life and I would take this thing a bit further. Then uh, this was this photograph, a uh, left, left corner was featured in Times of India in one of their competitions. So, like, I, I used to research a lot what kind of competitions are there, uh, what kind of chances are there in which I can get visible. And these, these things are not, basically, I'm not boasting about my achievements, but still, they, they kind of motivate me a lot to, to go a bit more further and explore more and more options. Then, one day, uh, I was coming back from my office and I got a call from a CNN International uh, uh, paying interest in India and they selected a bunch of people, maybe around five or six of them and they wanted to, they wanted to portray India as a cultural place and they wanted to draft an article in which they can tell about India's culture through some photographs and our experiences as travellers. So they, they told me that it's not final, we are not finalizing you yet, but we want to learn something about Banaras because that was a place I used to visit every year. And they asked me some questions about Banaras, about uh, what we call Pan, about uh, the Ganga, the Holy Ganga. And so they, they, kind, they finally featured uh, on this article with the highlights seen India through the eyes and lenses of Instagram users. And my kind of uh, verbal note was drafted here along with some photographs from three different places. Uh, the uh, above, uh, above ones are from Banaras and along with uh, Rajasthan and Calcutta. Then, uh, as I've already mentioned, my dream about Apple, it's, it's still my dream, it, it has not been fulfilled yet. Uh, my dream that maybe someday I'll get featured on their banner billboard. Then, uh, I guess one and a half months before Diwali, I received an email from, like, from the official Apple people, California, uh, saying that they want to portray India's brightest festival called Diwali and they are considering maybe, maybe a bunch of, maybe like around 10 people in which the theme was light. So they wanted to define Diwali through light and they were seeking photographs for the same. So I guess I was having around eight to 9,000 photographs in my phone and I gave them around 120 photographs. Like all the photographs which had kind of an, a, a light element to it, right? So maybe after a week, I got a call from their Singapore office uh, saying that their creative director from Singapore 
he wants to talk to me and he kind of gave me a very honest feedback that Gursimran, we really like your work from the very first day you have been uh, participating in our community briefs so uh, the kind of photographs you have sent uh, they do depict light but our main focus is India's brightest festival Diwali so this was the photographs which by mistake I did not send them I again searched my whole around roughly around 9000 photographs and uh, after that it took around a month for them to shortlist this and I guess three days before Diwali I got a mail that finally your photograph would be featured on Apple and on the day of Diwali so Apple featured six photographers from India and my photograph was one of them so talking about the dream of getting featured on a billboard that was kind of 40 percent complete still it's 60 percent left so I still believe that there is a lot to explore as a traveler as a creative person as like like looking into photographs there's a lot to explore now in today's world solo traveling is is a very cliche it's a very cliche term people they, they pack their bag they, they click photographs they quit their jobs and then they call themselves as a solo traveler they call themselves as wanderers and they, they, they kind of boast about it and then maybe after a month or two they they seek different companies should approach them give them assignments so that they can earn they ask help from their friends from their parents that they want to travel so I don't understand this concept from the very beginning so so like this is my like the, the main thing that I want to communicate today is that if you are doing a job if you're doing a Monday to Friday regular job still you can pursue your passion still you can pursue your passion and solo traveling does not mean that you have to quit your job you have to quit your Monday to Friday thing you have to go penniless and then you are becoming a solo traveler solo traveling for me maybe it it, it means a lot to me maybe I understand my heart a lot better which I don't understand during my Monday to Friday job I don't understand during my normal days my normal life going solo means you're actually learning a bit more about yourself where you're heading in your life what do you want to do what kind of dreams you want to pursue so for me solo traveling is, is, is something very pure I would say so this photograph is one of the trips I made in 2017 in the month of June uh, to Kerala so I always wanted to explore Kerala's monsoon so this photograph was one of them so I met so what what comes with solo traveling I was going to this place called LAP there I met a guy through Instagram he he messaged me saying brother I want to meet you I met him along with his friend and there we decided to do a roller uh, to do a road trip uh, from uh, LAP to Valparai it's in Tamil Nadu so these are some memories from there then uh, I also got a chance to visit Rashtrapati Bhavan this was the very first time when Rashtrapati Bhavan allowed some people to document their place through photographs so Facebook India along with Instagram India they kind of uh, I guess selected around seven people uh, and they asked us to document Rashtrapati Bhavan like maybe through our vision and this photograph was one of them I purchased a GoPro just to experiment though that, that this is not my cup of tea this is not my cup of taste and again these things are very motivating when you experiment when you give something something you know kind of you give certain kind of inputs to your traveling and this photograph from Rajasthan Pushkar it won a GoPro worldwide award and it was featured on a gopro.com website so like these these things motivate me a lot to travel more and more and more and pursue my passion and getting an answer from these things is that I'm not doing anything wrong I'm not wasting my time here and there so like this is one of the those moments then this is one photograph which got uh, featured by Discovery Channel India on their Instagram page uh, from Jama Masjid Old Delhi uh, of an evening 
Now, a lot of people ask me, maybe uh, obviously all of you will get a job one day and a question comes, if we pursue our passion, how, 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 it, how it pays us, right? So since the time uh, uh, around 2015 when I got recruited, recruited into EXL, a lot of companies approach people like me. There, there are hundreds and thousands of people in India who call, who tag themselves as influencers, as social media influencers. So different companies can contact you for photographs, right? And in return, they pay you well. So these are some of the photographs which I did for some brands. Now, like, uh, these are kind of my personal suggestions of uh, understanding your style. If someone wants to become a photographer, he or she should understand their style. If someone wants to click photographs, he or she should understand their style of work, their style of heart, their style of vision, their style of taste. It's not that if you want to become a popular photographer, uh, you, you go into wildlife, though your genre is street, so like that would be a huge blunder. These are kind of some brands with whom I've worked so far. These are some names, OnePlus, Kairali, Asus. So these kind of, these people kind of give me, for example, there are a lot of phone companies over here. They give me phones to review their phone through photographs. I upload them on my social media channels. They get a sufficient reach and I get paid well. This is how, uh, if you talk about solo traveling expenses, this is how I, along with my day job, which, which actually obviously pays me, I get to earn a bit, a bit more through these things. This photograph was featured by uh, Canon Imaging Asia. Then through solo traveling you can actually not only visit just your own country, you can't just explore your, your own country, you got to uh, visit different countries through tourism boards. So this is through Singapore Tourism Board. Uh, they take a kind of people who can click photographs uh, who can tell stories through photographs and so this is from Singapore Tourism Board. Rest all is uh, from a visual supply company. That's the first application which got introduced for an iPhone uh, to edit their photographs and they have a prestigious gallery in which they curate photographs from all over the world and uh, so a couple of photographs are there which got featured over there. So to sum up uh, what my take for the near future is that I don't want to leave my job even if you're doing a day job, even if you're doing a Monday to Friday job, you can actually continue your passion. You just have to channelize your free time, you just have to channelize your creativity and understand yourself better. Thank you.